Butterfly Garden Preschool families, it's Gisa. And today we're going to do an art project having to do with faces. I'm gonna read you a story first and then um, I'll let you guys get creative. So the story is named Faces and it's written by Zoe Miller and David Goodman. when I lift this vellum. There's another face. Welcome to the wonderful world of faces. All it takes is two dots and a line and magic happens. Do you see how they made a face out of that button? Look around you, faces everywhere. Can you see the face in here? Can you see the sad face and the eyes and the nose? How about here in this bag? Can you see the eyes and the mouth? Or you can look at it as that is the mouth, depending on how you look at that bag. You can bring things to life with your hands. They used a glove to make a face. Or puzzle pieces. Symmetry, repetition, reflection, and patterns. Play, create. Can you see the face in this picture? neat how they use shapes and colors to make that face. Now look what happens when I lift, this is called vellum. Can you still see a face? Pretty neat, huh? Amidst all those lines and swirls. Paint drops on paper fold to make blocks. See faces and letters, commas and dots. Can you see the letters in there? Those faces are made out of letters and numbers. Add thumbprints and scribbles, splotches and swirls. Pour paint or drip it, splatter and squirt, flick it and smudge it and rub in some dirt. Layers of texture, soft, rough, or hard. Glue it, then ink it, and print onto card. This is kind of what we did about a month ago. Remember when we drew something and then we put ink on it and made prints? Cut paper and stick it, mix and arrange. Look what's fun about this one. You can make different faces by moving the cards in different ways. Fun, huh? Recycle your paper, find faces within. So here are a bunch of different ways you can use recycled materials to make different faces. Badges and glasses, faces that grit, that grin. 
Can you see what they used in these vases? All sorts of different materials. So you can look around your house. You can go on a scavenger hunt for materials to make faces. Harry Brush Brothers. They made faces out of brushes. How clever is that? Sad Sam and Simon messing with string. Can you tell what that is? That's a little coin purse opened up and they made a face inside. Very creative. Hang up your pictures. Let mobiles float free. Look at me this way. Now turn me and see. It's fun to turn artwork sometimes on its side or upside down. You can see a face this way and you can see another face this way. That was a surprise. Roll clay and shape it and sculpt it to size. Squash it and press it, add noses and eyes. Sort through your toy box and take things apart. Mistakes and surprises are all part of art. I can't wait to see what your surprises are gonna look like. Art is a game. You choose the tools. Making or breaking, you find the rules. Collect and assemble, crooked or straight, wonder, discover, explore, and create. Make faces with pebbles, smoothed flat by the sea. Use time softened treasures. Who might they be? Make something for nothing. You lead the way. Would you guys like to try to make something from nothing? Just from the treasure you find around the house or outside? You are the artist. Imagine and play. And that's the end of our story. So now, friends, I want you to go around your house, go outside, find whatever materials you'd like to use recyclable materials, materials from nature, um, household materials, whatever you like. And I want you to make your own face. And you can make as many faces as you'd like. Please share them with me. 
um, you can add them below in the comments or you can text them to me. Um, I'd like to show you a couple that my daughter made. Um, she's gonna actually come and tell you about the materials that she made, that she used. So I just went around the house and uh, found different buttons and beads and stuff. I found this cork in the kitchen and I used some paint and I kind of just mishmashed it and made sure that it didn't look like that. And what is this? What did you use So there? here I used a golden twist tie. And what is this? And this is a muscle shell. We found this it's by the beach. Very creative. And then let's show everyone the other one that you made. All right, what did you use here? So here I used a comb from the drawer. I cut off a piece of a toilet paper roll. Uh, the eyebrows are just paper clips. Um, this is some regular tape, a bottle cap, and a wooden zero. Great. Thank you for sharing with us. So you can make your own and I can't wait to see the creativity and the um, objects that you choose to use for your face.